Howdy folks, Cody here at More Than Farmers. Welcome to the homestead. It is a beautiful Saturday morning and it's the perfect day to build something in the driveway because that's the only place I've got to build stuff. So we are gonna take this little pile of lumber here and this little pile of metal here and we're gonna turn it into the simplest yet most efficient to use chicken tractor you've seen yet. Izzy's got a small flock of Easter egg or hens, 13 of them, and he needs a movable pen to put them in. He's raised these Easter eggers since they were chicks, and now they just started laying, they're laying little eggs. While they're still little, he's selling them to grandma. And then once they're big enough to put with the rest of our eggs, he's gonna sell them to me to put in our dozens to, that we sell at the store, because people really like those cool green eggs. I wanna make this really simple and easy to build. And then beyond that, I wanna make it really light. I'm really hoping that once it's all done, Izzy will be able to it himself we're hoping i also wanted to make it really cheap i know that it could be made cheaper you know using recycled materials and stuff like that but when i go to home depot i get lumber off of the 70 percent off pile if you go in the back usually in most home depots they have a pile with little purple spray paint on it and that lumber is 70 percent off it's like crooked twisted and for most of the projects around here that just really doesn't matter and so i can get lumber super cheap so that's where this lumber came from the metal has some dents in it so i got that discounted and I've got some chicken wire left over from some other projects. So I had very, very little cost into this. We're gonna try to get this thing built here real quick, real quick. We'll see how it goes. If you're building a pen for broiler chickens, you don't need as much space as if you're building one for layers because those broilers aren't in there for near as long. They're only in there for, you know, like eight to 11 weeks, depending on what kind of birds you're raising. And they don't tend to roam around as much as laying hens do, those big fat birds. So to make it really simple, I'm making the triangle for the A-frame six foot by six foot by six foot. That way I can just cut my pieces really simply. And what I'll be doing on the ends, there'll be a board at the bottom and then the, the middle rafters will just be the rafters coming down to the ground. And since this is an equilateral triangle, it's 60 degrees in each corner. Yes, I did have to look that up. This is already cut at six foot. Those are already cut at six foot. Then up at the top, I wanna to make a little plywood triangle to use as a brace for the top. So since I ripped two by fours in half for these rafters, I wanna brace this really well. I wanted this as light as possible, but I don't want it too weak either. So I think if he had four feet, that makes sure I could make about a 16 inch triangle from top to bottom. Don't start the drill until you're already in the hole and see so you're going really crooked. It's fine. Just, you stick your drill in like this, and then you start it. Okay, so the problem is, is this board is bowed way up, and see how this angle is way off? That like needs to be pulled down. Yeah, you're getting close, can you pull harder? Pull, 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 pull. Oh, pull, or I'll sell you. Oh, my bit, where's my bit? Oh, you're gonna have to let it go. <laughs> you guys got it in the right spot. Okay, ready, go. This board is bowed in and that board is bowed out. It'd be easier if they were both bowed one way, I think. Or if they were both just straight. Yeah, they were both straight, yeah. But this lumber was 70% off. Do you want me to step on it or are you oh. sufficient? I am sufficient. I am enough. I am loved. Okay, hold the next one. Hi. <laughs> Are you all wet? Okay, here you go. What? Sometimes it does that, and then sometimes it does that. I don't know. It's actually quite annoying. All right, now that we've got the frame put together, I mean, at this point, it looks a little flimsy, but once we get the metal on here, it's gonna sturdy it right up. Before we put the metal on, we need to do a couple things. Back here in the back, where we're gonna be mounting our nest box, it's gonna go up off the ground more. We need to put some upright boards so that we can fasten that onto, and I wanna do that before I put any of the other metal on or anything, because I wanna screw those boards in from the outside, then the metal will cover those screws. We need to put a couple boards about right in here for the top piece of metal to fasten to and for the chicken wire to fasten to. Once we got those boards in there, then we're gonna put the chicken wire on so that the metal will overlap on top of it. 
I don't know if this is gonna be enough chicken wire to do the other side. The other chicken wire that I have is not quite wide enough, so see if this is enough. You can do it. So close. Oh yeah. Doesn't get a whole lot more perfect than that. Not one thing, it's another, right? Shelly was mowing the grass and the deck belt broke. So she's gonna have to go pick one up and that's probably something I'm gonna get to do today too. While Shelly goes and gets that belt in town, I get to take care of Eden. The kids went to Papa's house, so it's just me and Eden. We'll try to get a lot of work done on this thing, right Eden? The back is gonna be closed off with metal so that they can sleep and roost and everything back here out of the weather. But I am going to cut a vent hole in the back here, but I don't want rain to be getting in there. So I'm going to peek this roof out a little bit. So that means when I cut this metal out, instead of cutting it straight off on the end, I'm going to cut it off shorter at the lower part so that it can meet the metal that comes about flush with the end and then curve it out so that at the top, it's got a longer peak to make a little shelter over that vent. The other thing about the metal is that two full pieces is too tall plus I want to have it just a little bit shorter so that I can, when I put the peak thing on, I want an air gap in there so that the hot air can flow out of the tops. I'm getting so red on my neck, my ears, my arms. I think I can handle on my arms, but I put this hat on to cover my ears and my neck. Hopefully it hasn't gone too far. You know what's really amazing is when you're working with crooked lumber and not a flat surface to build stuff on, it's just how whacked some of this stuff can get. So I dropped one corner and raised one corner up and I think I've got stuff pretty square now. I'm gonna try putting some screws in and see how it works. <laughs> get those screws out of your mouth. That's yucky. I think she was trying to copy me holding screws in my mouth. Thing is, I hold them with my lips, not my teeth. I bet that lawnmower belt just got here. Shelly just drove in, so. I guess I'll be replacing the belt on a mower deck. This belt kind of looks like it might be the wrong size. Dada. Not gonna work. Well, the mower belt was the wrong size. So that won't get done today. I'll have to order one. So that took up a bit of time to figure that out. Now I gotta get this thing done. So there's still a lot of work to do, but I got a really good part of it done today. I am really tired and I'm really sunburnt, so I am just gonna go ahead and call it quits for today. Now I put the nest box inside of here, and after I did, I realized something. If you've been around for any amount of time, you'll know that I don't usually follow plans when I build stuff, and this is one of those times, and most of the time it works out really well. This time I forgot something. I forgot to put a door on the outside to be able to gather the eggs, and I also forgot to cut holes in the back of the nest box to be able to gather eggs. So I'm gonna have to pull that nest box back out, cut holes in the back of it, and cut holes here and put a door in it so that you can just open it up and gather the eggs from the outside. Eden. Hey. Hi. <laughs> right now what I'm gonna work on is getting the wheels on the back of it. I've got this little pile of scrap metal right here that I pulled off my junk pile. And those wheels right there, we're gonna turn it into something like this. Minus the flat tire, let this be a lesson to you. Tires with tubes in is not a good idea for this. I got flat free ones for Izzy's pen. And these wheels are on a lever so that when this pin is pulled, this comes up and the pen sits on the ground. And then if these tires were not flat, when you push this down, it lifts the back end of the pen up, put the pin in, then you can move it and let it back down when it's to its new spot. I've got the pieces cut and welded and everything put together for one side, so before I do the other side and before I paint these pieces, I wanna try it out.
This has got to be one of the most interrupted projects I've ever done. The weather has been crazy. First, after I started building this thing, it got cold and rainy, so I couldn't really work on it. And then it got really nice, and so we need to get stuff done in the garden. So this thing has been sitting here for a couple weeks, just waiting to get done. So what I did is I made this door out of two layers of one by four and put the chicken wire in between. Got it stretched nice and tight. We got this stainless steel latch here. It's getting late now. I don't want to move Izzy's chickens in right before dark. So hopefully we'll get them moved in here tomorrow even. I'm afraid it's going to be a little too heavy. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna have to get like a hand cart dolly thing, make something for you to be able to move it with wheels in the front. Izzy's got his own chicken pen now and the chickens are in there enjoying their fresh grass. They've been in their winter coop all winter long up until now, so they are happy to be outside, I think. But if you wanna see how you got started on this chicken journey, check out this video next.